this is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff. So you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see me analyzing that data. Like I tell you every day, the day they release us is false, but it gives a false narrative. The markets we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, a lot of people have asked me about Adam Aaron speech. And not really the, the whole speech in general, the, the, the part about the speech where he says that they contacted Fintel, they contacted the SEC, and the information that they found, he is not allowed to share it with retail investors. And a lot of people are, are thinking that maybe they found evidence of fraud and corruption and that Adam Adam is Adam Aaron is waiting to pounce. Listen to me. And this is just my opinion. I'm not saying to buy, hold, or sell AMC. But do I think Adam Aaron has information about the fraud and corruption in AMC? Yes, yes. I believe he has that information. And I believe he's had that information for over 30 months. Okay, because when he's screaming that there's no evidence of counterfeit shares or synthetic shares, as they like to call it, but like I tell you every day, they're not synthetic, they are counterfeit. But when he's when he been screaming for 30 months that there's no evidence of counterfeit shares, there's no evidence of synthetic shares, we know it is. The FTDs tell us it is. The Naked Shorten tell us it is. The Dog Pool Volume tell us it is. So, yes, he has that information. But will he utilize that information in order? To, to force them to buy those buy back those billions of counterfeit AMC shares? I don't think so. I don't think so. I believe he's had the information for 30 months now. I mean, he's a seasoned Wall Street guy. You think he don't know about naked shorting? You don't think he don't know about dog pool abuse? You think he don't know about FTDs? He knows better than you and I put together because he has access to information that we don't have access to. So, did he have information that he shared with the SEC and FINRA? The, the SEC and FINRA already knows what's going on. We've been doing this for 30 months. I mean, if we found the fraud and corruption, of course the SEC and FINRA knows about the fraud and corruption. I mean, he's repeating the same thing he said in May. He's repeating the exact same thing he said in May. Nothing has changed with Adam Aaron. As far as I'm concerned, in my opinion, he is not on our side. So he can claim that they have the information. He's been had the information. He's been have the, had the evidence. But is he going to do anything about it? No, he's not. He's not going to do anything about it because it doesn't benefit him and his hedgy buddies to stop the naked shorting in AMC and GME. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think Adam Aaron has the evidence of the fraud and corruption? But not only that. If you think he has it, do you think he's going to use it to help retail investors? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.